This family portrait made with painted pebble penguins makes a beautiful gift idea for anyone on your list. Going to start with a framed canvas and add in there some eyelets for hanging. Next, paint the frame with a coat of black paint. This will just peek through the crackle that we'll do in the next step. At this time, you can also paint some of your pebbles with the black paint and let everything dry. You're going to want to pick out one pebble to represent each member of the family for your family portrait. Once that black paint is dry, you'll add on a layer of glue. This is just Elmer's school glue that we use to create a really pretty crackle effect. Um, in the white paint, which we're adding on right now. So you don't want that glue to completely dry. It needs to be a little bit wet for the crackle to happen. You'll want to just paint the edges of the canvas with the white paint as well. And now you can see as that white paint is drying, it creates this really lovely crackle effect. It's just such a fun, distressed, vintage vibe for this piece. I use my heat gun to speed up the process, but you could use a blow dryer or just let it air dry. Now we're gonna set that aside to just dry completely. I actually just touched up a few of the areas that were really dark with a little dry brushed white paint. And then once this was all dry, I went in with a bit of sandpaper and sanded off those edges. Again, this just adds a bit more texture. Now it's time to paint the canvas. I started by creating a little snow mound with white paint. It's actually really hard to see here, but you get the idea. And then blend together a little bit of black and white paint to create a gray. This is going to be for the sky of your family portrait. If gray is not the right color for you, you can obviously put whichever color you'd like here. And I'm just trying to blend kind of lighter shades and darker shades of gray to give a little bit of variation. Closer to the snow, you'll want the gray to be lighter and getting darker as you go up along the canvas. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just some a fun, pretty background upon which we'll add the penguins and the snowflakes next. You'll want this to dry completely, and while that's drying, we can paint our little penguins. So I decided to make the little child penguins gray and the adult penguins black. Uh, so that's what I did there to match the background. We also are using these pretty wood snowflake cutouts. And all these supplies are actually in our December Creative Habit craft box that we have available for a limited time. So if you like this craft, and don't have access to all the materials, check out the link in the description below for how you can get them in the craft box. Now it's time to add a bit of sparkle. So we're using some diamond dust. You could also use a fine glitter. And after painting on a layer of the white glue, we just sprinkled that diamond dust over top. I also repeated that with all the snowflakes. Now you may have spotted that I painted about half of the snowflakes white and the other half of them I just left the natural wood color. Again, this adds a little bit of variation in the texture for this piece, but I did sparkle them all up with the diamond dust. You just wanna tap off the excess and then you can put all this excess diamond dust back in the container to use for next time. To paint the little penguins, it's really simple. You want to start with a little oval on about the bottom two thirds of the pebble and then add two little bumps for the eyes and repeat this for the other penguins. I have two grown up penguins here and then two child size penguins. Next, you'll use the back of the paintbrush, the tip to dab on the eyes for each penguin. And then finally, a little bit of orange paint and a fine paintbrush to add on a triangle nose and little oval feet or flippers for your penguins. 
so easy now that you have them all the pieces it's time to assemble the family portrait you'll need a hot glue gun with clear craft glue for this step and glue that canvas right into the frame and then glue on all the little penguins and arrange the snowflakes how you'd like i kind of put them randomly with about one to two inches apart next you'll tie some twine into the eyelets in the frame and then string on there a bunch of wood beads to create the hanger for this piece it always helps to add a little bit of masking tape to the twine or the thread whatever you're using it really makes the stringing process a lot easier and then we'll tie that other end onto the other eyelet if you don't have the wooded beads then you can use some ribbon or just the twine itself these wooded beads are a part of that creative habit craft box that I mentioned. And the final step for this craft is to add a little bow and some greenery to finish off the portrait. go you have a beautiful keepsake craft for yourself or to give as a gift to a loved one you can make a, a portrait for the grandparents with all their grandkids so the sky's the limit with this particular craft idea we hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching bye